Touché, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, Mr. Mooney, I'm so sorry, but I was in such a hurry to tell you the good news. Boy, are you going to be surprised. About what? I won first place in a dog food contest. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me. I've tasted your cooking. I didn't make the dog food. I just entered the contest, and I won a trip to London. Look, here's my ticket. My plane leaves Monday morning. Well, what makes you think you can take off from work just like that? Oh, well, I have some days coming to me. I've been saving up my sick leave. Your sick leave? Yes, yes, sir. And, oh, you don't know what I've gone through to save up those few measly days. Oh, some days I have been so miserable. Oh, well, I never realized you were so dedicated. Oh, yes. You know, one day I came to work in such pain that I had to ask the bank guard to give me a bullet to bite on. Why, you poor thing. Well... However, Mrs. Carmichael, it is impossible for you to leave at this time. Why? Because I have to go east next week on business, and I want someone to be here in this office. Well, Mr. Mooney, last year we both took our vacations at the same time. Nobody even missed us. Exactly, and I never want that to happen again. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mooney, that's a thanks I get for all the hard work I've done, all the long hours of concentration I've put in. On what? On my dog food jingle. Dog food jingle? Yeah, the one that I won the prize with. I feed my doggy arf arf. I buy it by the bunch. I know it's tasty dog food. I eat it myself for lunch. <laughs> you wrote that? Yes, I did. Oh, you do need sick leave. <laughs> Oh, go, go, go. Oh, Mr. Mooney, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to London. I'm going to London. I'm going to tell the girls. Uh -oh. I'm going to London. I'm going to And they think they'll always be in England. Flight 19, British Imperial Jet Service to London. It's now loading at gate 7. Oh, Mary Jane, I'm so excited. There it is, there it is. British Imperial Airways. You know what it said on the ticket. From the moment you step up to the counter, you feel a bit of Britain. Oh. Isn't it exciting? But you better hurry, honey. You have to check your ticket. Yeah, okay, honey. Oh, dear. Where's your ticket? I must have left it in my bag. Oh, my God. Oh. Did you understand what he said? No. Uh, excuse me, sir. Perhaps your friend could help me? Oh, uh, Cedric called all of these Americans, you know. Right, I'll get them. As I understand it, you were in a bit of a tiz was because you went and lost your blooming doodah, lady? Yes, yes, I lost my blooming doodah, lady, and I want to know how to get it back. There's no need to get yourself in a state. Well, of course I'm in a state. My plane's ready to take off, and, and, and my, my, my tickets are in my bag. My bag took off without me, and I don't know how to get it. Perhaps I can be of some help, ladies. Oh, I hope so. I sure would appreciate if it. If you don't mind, sir. What this man was trying to tell you is that the baggage room's in the basement. In the basement? Oh, thank you. Basement? I don't know if I have time to get to the basement. My plane is taking off for London. Uh, flight 19. Well, how soon does flight 19 leave? It just left. Just left. Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, I knew this was too good to be true. Honey, I told you to get an earlier start. Don't get so upset. Uh, 
<laughs> Look, there's a plane leaving for New York in a few minutes. I'm not going to New York. I'm going to London. I know. If you take the plane from here to New York, there they can get your connections on to London. Oh, can they do that? Oh, sure. Oh, thank you. Now, remember thank to take your tickets to the main ticket counter. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, my tickets. I got to get my tickets. Yeah, I got to get my tickets. Lucy, what are you doing? I'm going to get me for and do, John Lightning. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Would you like me to take that for you? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, miss. Yes? Uh, I keep forgetting about the difference in time. Do I set my watch ahead or back? Oh, it's three hours later in New York. Oh, well, uh, I'm not just going to New York. I'm, I'm going all the way to uh, London, London, England, and Europe. How very nice. Uh, the time difference is eight hours between here and London. London, England. In Europe. <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, sir, yes. I wonder if you would do me a favor. Yes, what is uh, it? You see, my girlfriend is here to see me off, and I promised to wave to her, but I don't think she can see me. Would you wave to Mary Jane? She's the one in the green suit right by the gate. Just just give her a little wave. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, look, she's waving back to us, and she's throwing me a kiss. <laughs> she's the very best girlfriend I've got. Would you mind throwing her a kiss? <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, I would love to get a shot of her uh, just waving to me. Would, would you just draw back a little bit? Oh, uh, you, uh, maybe you better take it. Maybe you better just press this little thing right here. Yes. Now, look, get her attention. Wave to her. Wave to her. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. She really is my very best girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I was sitting on the wrong side of the plane to, to wave goodbye to her. And may I take your coat? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, I guess so. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, later, I may have some coffee, tea, or milk. What are you doing here? Well, I don't blame you for being surprised. I missed my plane. That doesn't surprise me. Well, I'm going to New York on this plane, and then I get my plane for London from there. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> my, it's a small world, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And with you in it, no wonder they're racing for the moon. <laughs> You know, you ought to be glad that I'm sitting here with you instead of some stranger. After all, it's a long trip and you'll have someone nice to talk to. Mrs. Carmichael, when I arrive in New York, I'm going directly to an important meeting. Yes, That's why I'm studying these documents. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be disturbed. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Isn't it the wonderful age we live in? Breakfast in Los Angeles, lunch in New York, dinner in London. Isn't it exciting? Frankly, my business takes me on so many transcontinental overseas trips that it isn't very exciting for me. I get pretty sick of flying. Oh, really? Well, actually, I, I get a little bored now and then, too, yeah. Fasten your seatbelt, please. Oh, I guess we're going to take off, huh?
You better fasten your seatbelt. I'd be happy to if you'd give me the other half of my belt. Oh, you have... Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have two buckles. Oh, for heaven's sake. You have part of mine. <laughs> I don't know why they don't have them right in the first place. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Since the takeoff portion of our flight will be over water, I'd like to demonstrate how to put on the life jackets, which you'll find under your seat. <laughs> Sir, she wants you to pay attention. I've seen this a hundred times. Oh, oh, yeah, it's, it's a real drag. It's, it's... <laughs> the chances of your having to use the life jackets are very remote, but regulations require this demonstration. After the jacket is securely tied, it is inflated by pulling this cord. Jacket should be inflated only after leaving the plane. Thank you very much. No, thank you. It's for your ears. <laughs> oh, of course. I forgot. <laughs> does gum really help? Oh, yes. Chewing the gum does seem to help relieve the pressure during the takeoff. Thank you. <laughs> 